Now in reality, memory locations are called variables. And we don't think of them as memory locations because it'll take us away from what we're really using C for, which is solving problems or getting it to do what we want without having to think about the memory. So we don't care what that memory location was. So when we got the, we used the ampersand on my number or sorry, my int, we'll call it, just imagine we have a value called my number. That will give us the address in memory as a number. My number by itself will still cause the computer to go to that memory address except we get the value that is at that memory address. Now if that's an integer, that will have four bytes of memory. So there'll be four memory locations, but what is stored in here is the first byte, or the memory location of the first byte, which needs four bytes. So the actual address, the address is four bytes. If it wasn't, we wouldn't be able to store very many. We wouldn't be able to store as many memory locations. What we're using now is we're storing integers. Well, each memory location is actually has an address of, that is four bytes long.